welcome to soft review in this video i am going to show you uh, how you can connect strico with make.com for that uh, first we need if you don't know what strico is strico is uh, similar to like a chat gpt but uh, you will get lot more uh, language models that you can use in a single window for example as you can see uh, you can use all these models uh, all the latest models are added quickly here and it has also got like uh, capabilities to browse the internet for the OpenAI models as you can see you can choose from a large number of uh, models uh, from all the best LLM providers out there and you can also uh, save your prompt here and you can add a lot of files here you can upload uh, all these uh, files you can upload your images uh, you can even transcribe youtube videos and you can even give web page links so a lot of uh, options uh, you can interact with this llm and you can also uh, like add uh, have text to speech and if you uh, even if you put a long uh, piece of uh, text it will be converted into very high quality audio for you using open AI models so uh, that's the uh, basic uh, overview of what this is uh, the best thing for if you have the subscription uh, and you can get your api key from here going to the settings and if you go here as you can see you can see the api and if you click on the api documentation uh, you can see the documentation here it's really uh, easy and simple to integrate it with make.com i will i will show you like how you can do this since make.com uh, don't have a native integration with Straco, as you can see there is no uh, native integration with Straco. we can easily add with the http module and for this uh, option we need to select uh, make an api uh, key authentication request once you click that you will be uh, seeing this window where we have the option to add the uh, api key here so if you click on add uh, and you can copy paste your api key from here for example if i copy the api key i need to paste the api key and before that i need to add i need to add the bearer as you can see in the authorization uh, you need to have this bearer in front of the api key so i'll just add that bearer uh, then in the head uh, it needs to be in the header so you can see it's in the header and you need to pass this key the authorization uh, and you can just click on create and uh, our api key is saved here so you don't have to repeat this process again for the url uh, i am uh, taking this chat completion because we need uh, to actually interact with the llms here so you can just paste the url here and for this method we are we need to have the post method so i am just selecting the post method uh, there is nothing to add in the header and the query string uh, the body type will be a uh, url encoded so yeah as you can see uh, the this is a c url and uh, as you can see it's url encoded and we need to pass this information uh, for model just copy this like this and add fields a key uh, as model and anthropic cloud just for this example i am using cloud 2.0 and i am pasting the value here so we need to add one more uh, item that we need to pass uh, that is the message just copy the message here and copy paste it here then we need to have the uh, this is where we add the prompt so uh, here in the message section we can add the prompt uh, for this example i am just hard coding it uh, when you are using a automation you can pass in some uh, variables here for this example i need to show you like uh, this actually works so let's ask like write a 300 word article on how to eat grass okay this is just an example don't actually eat grass just i'm just showing you like how you can make it work and you can also change uh, the language model of your choosing uh, because it supports a lot of uh, language models uh, if i show you like uh, these are the uh, support available models you can see you can select from all these models uh, any model that you like all the uh, top uh, models are available 
even the latest uh, plots on it 3.5 is available so uh, there is uh, there is plenty of options so you can just uh, change the uh, model here so that's just a tip for you and uh, once you are uh, done you can just click on ok and we can just test it uh, let's see if it's working or not and this works with all the other uh, kind of applications that you are trying to integrate uh, with make.com this is the way that you can do that and as you can see we got like a 201 uh, status code uh, we can click on data and completion and choice test message and as you can see our article is generated how to edit us eating tasks may seem like an odd or unappealing idea as you can see uh, we got like a huge uh, article of 300 words so uh, now you can use and connect it with any other automation that you want uh, without you having to pay for the open api api key and you get a lot of choices as well so uh, that's how you integrate straightco with make.com if you find this useful please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more future videos and if you want me to do an in-depth video on straightco please comment that below as well thank you for watching have a great day